I first started noticing this attack on men in shows like The King of Queens and Everybody Loves Raymond. The men and father figures were often made to look like the following. And sometimes, even like this. Other times, they worked so hard, they were like the fellow in this movie, who when it came time to be honest, he found it very difficult. Gone are the days of Charles Ingalls on Little House of the Prairie, when a man worked hard for his family and took care of them. Meanwhile, men only need to say they identify as women to be allowed to use the women's restroom. But in North Carolina, they pass a law saying people are to use the restrooms of the gender with which they were born. This, of course, caused riots. Celebrities and businessmen decided to pull their services from the state. But I have to ask, why? Why this attack on the traditional strong family and the rabid push of the homosexual agenda? Is it really about equality and freedom for all? And extinguishing old prejudices? No. Illuminati has their hands in every powerful pot possible. They control the media, politics, and even place plants to influence the masses. They are pulling all the punches to expedite their agenda. Illuminati is Luciferianism. As the enlightened ones, they serve Lucifer, the light bearer. Yet the word of God tells us he is Satan, the father of lies, the evil one who seeks to, do, to devour the souls of men. God also tells us that the head of every man is Christ, the head of woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. And we know from Peter that the angels watch with rapt attention the goings-on of man and how God reveals his plans. How delighted Satan must be to see man toss away Christ as his head and forsake his own role as head of his family. and to chase instead abominations and pleasures of the flesh. Pray that God will raise up strong men who honor and fear him, men to lead their families and his church through these last days.